So I'm a member of this group on Facebook, and it's uh, for Ninja owners. And if you're not a member, I'll put a link to it down below. You need to go ahead and uh, become a member of that group. It's full of awesome people, and they're super helpful, have great recipes. And one of them today that we're going to try was submitted by a lady by the name of Lori Lennard. And I hope I said your last name right. But she posted a picture in this group of General Sos Chicken, and it looked amazing. So I said, I gotta try it. So went to the grocery today, got what we needed, and we're gonna try some General Sos Chicken. So what you will need is roughly two pounds of chicken breast, um, or you can buy the chicken tenders. You're going to cut these in little squares. Um, I got the chicken breast because it was a dollar cheaper a pound than the tenders. But you um, need two pounds of chicken. need two packets of the General So Chicken Seasoning Mix. And you can find this in your uh, grocery in the Asian food aisle. Um, you also need some General So's Stir Fry Sauce. Find that in the same aisle. And then uh, you just need a little bit of flour and a little bit of oil. And then if you want to cook it over rice, you'll need some rice too. I also picked these up here. I might try to mix those in. Hi. What are you getting? Hi. Need apple apple sauce? Sauce? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have about a cup of flour in a Ziploc. And I've got my chicken and it's cut in about one inch pieces. So I'm going to put the chicken in. What do we do? in the bag and then shake shake it to coat the chicken okay so next I'm going to put the stove top or the ninja on stove top high and I'm going to add four tablespoons of oil inside the ninja and warm it up okay so once your oil is hot uh, you will scoop out some chicken out of your bag and then Put it into the ninja and you'll cook it on all sides. Okay, so I have all my chicken in there. Um, if you have more than I would probably just do a uh, single layer. Um, if you have more, you may cook some and then scoop it out and then put more in. But uh, we're going to let it cook and I'm going to toss it to make sure it's cooked all the way through. Okay, as it cooks, I just continue um, to turn it and make sure chicken is cooked thoroughly. So keep on cooking. Okay, so after looking at this packet, this is essentially making general so sauce and each one of these is for one pound of chicken so um, and on the back you have to make it with soy sauce water sugar uh, you have to mix this packet with uh, we don't have soy sauce <laughs> so um, I'm going to mix this up minus the soy sauce because it's only three tablespoons and Mix those two together and make our General So's sauce. Okay, so I have my seasoned packet mixture here, and I have my bottle of General So here. I'm going to pour it all into the ninja and see the chicken nice and cooked, brown. So we're going to pour everything in here and bring it to a boil. Okay, so there I added everything in. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. that come to a boil again. It looks like it is definitely boiling. And we will turn it down to low and let it simmer till it starts to thicken up. So I have my can of chopped soy vegetables. I'm going to add those in now. I have drained them. So I'm going to mix them in here while it's simmering. So there we go. Get it all mixed up and then we'll let it all simmer 
for a few more minutes. Okay, so I cooked some rice um, just real quick on the stove. And here we go. Here's our General Tso's chicken. It's thickened up quite a bit, as you can see. There we go. Looks delicious. So we had a little modification along the way. Um, didn't exactly make the General Tso's recipe according to plan, but um, the combination of the one packet and the bottle of sauce was plenty of sauce and the flavor was great. I mean, it, it really had a good, strong General Tso's flavor to it. Um, the only thing I would change is probably put some more vegetables in there with it. It was kind of just chicken and, you know, we added that little can of vegetable, but uh, I think maybe some fresh broccoli or something would be good cooked in with it. Um, other than that, it was, it turned out really good. So give it a try. Let us know how you made it. And uh, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Thanks.